Hello, students. Let us solve one more problem from particle physics and say, uh, I mean, part of parity and time reversal symmetry. So, in that question, they have mentioned the P is the P is the electric dipole moment. And mu is the magnetic dipole moment. Then how this how this electric dipole moment will behave under under the action of parity? Okay, and also they asked how that magnetic dipole moment will behave under under the action of time reverse reversal. Okay, okay. okay this uh, I mean this thing I used to teach in uh, class itself. So, uh, electric dipole moment, I can express like for discrete charge distribution, I can display, uh, I can uh, express like Ty, Ri. For discrete charge distribution, that electric dipole moment can be represented as sum of our Ky, Ri. Now, under the action of parity, under the action of parity, Ei will not change its sign because it's a charged particle, it's a charge, it's a charge. So under the action of parity, charge will not change its sign, but position vector, it's a position vector, it will change its sign. Right? So it means I'll get minus. Ty, all right. So what I'm saying, under the action of parity, P becomes minus P because minus Ky Ri. So under the action of parity, that electric dipole moment change its change its sign. No? Under the action of parity, that electric dipole moment change its change its sign, right? Change its sign. So it will behave like a odd. It will show odd parity. Electric type of moment will show odd parity. However, let us see what will happen to magnetic dipole moment. Now, magnetic moment I can represent like minus E by twice M into L where L is the orbital angular momentum. And that thing I can represent like minus E by twice M. I can write like twice Me also. That's not a problem. And this L I can represent that is nothing but R cross P. Okay. So now if I apply the time reversal here, what will happen? So there will be no change in uh, this parameter. These are all are constant. E by twice me, that will be as it is. There will be no change in sign of position vector as well. However, there will be change in sign of P. P goes to minus P under the time reversal operation because P is nothing but, P is your here linear momentum, right? P is nothing but M del R by del T. So under time reversal, this t goes to minus t, dt goes to minus dt, so you will have minus sign here. So that's why under time reversal, p will be minus p. So I can see, I can clearly see there will be minus of minus e by twice m e, then you will have l. 
Okay. So there's a linear relationship between L and mu. There's a linear relationship between L and mu. And under time reversal, under time reversal, L will become minus L. And therefore, mu will become minus mu. So I can see from here, you will have minus sign. So obviously, mu will become minus mu here. Again, it will show odd parity. So under parity operation, electric dipole moment is showing odd nature. Also, under time reversal, magnetic dipole moment is showing odd nature. So both are actually showing odd nature. One is under parity and another is under under time reversal. Okay, thank you.